y'all. We're headed to Aldi this morning. Check out the Aldi finds and get everything we're gonna need for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Well, almost everything. Some of the stuff for New Year's Eve, Titus is gonna be picking all that out, but everything else we're going to get today. Good morning, Georgette. They're excited that the sun is shining and it's warmer today. I mean, still kind of cold, but lots warmer than it has been. <laughs> This juice extractor or cold juice presser for only $39.99. Marked down from $45. This is the juice extractor and this is the cold juice presser. Then they have a nutrition blender, $34.99. They have these prep and go jars. I got one of these before. They're really nice. It's gonna keep my strawberries in. And they also have a juice and store jar. Those are $6.99. Kitchen assortment container, $12.99. Oh, a fruit basket. $12.99. I kind of need a fruit basket, but I don't know. I'm like Barney on the Andy Griffith Show with the deer in the front yard. I don't know. Oh, they have these fruit and veggie storage pods. $7.99 for these three. Some cutting boards for $4.99. A two pack of little ones or the one big one. This is not the same product number, so I'm assuming that this is just an old tag that they need to replace because these are new this week. They have these bowls too. Three pack for $14.99. Covered fridge trays. They have laminators for $19.99 and the laminating pouches for $5.99. 40 pouches in there. I don't really know about prices on laminators but that might be a good deal. If y'all know let us know. Is that a good deal? They have these kitchen calendars back again this year. Step stools. Lots of exercise equipment, a balance cushion, step deck, floor mats, weights, smart watches for $49.99, dumbbell set, fitness bands, and an exercise bike. They have heating pads for $16.99, humidifiers $24.99, the robotic floor duster is marked down to $19.99. Did anybody get these? Let us know if they're any good. I mean, do they vacuum or do they just dust? Let's see. Attracts and retains hair, dust, and dirt. So no crumbs. No crumbs, right? I'm not seeing crumbs. Okay. They marked the scooters down to $14.99. Oh, they have a vacuum food sealer for $29.99 and the refills for $13.99. Portable jump starter. The gingerbread houses are marked down to $7.49, y'all. And they finally marked down the 25 sleeps till Christmas to $4.99. Oh, these Christmas Rice Krispie treats are marked down to $2.49. Raspberry oranges. Let's try these raspberry oranges with a delicious hint of berry. Party dips, bacon cheddar and buffalo, crab dip and a lobster roll dip. I think Jake might like this lobster roll dip. We'll get that. This cranberry almond chicken salad is really good. We tried it before. And they have classic. They have the Mama Cozy Pizza Dough bag. Next stop, Ingles, because Aldi didn't have collard greens or black eyed peas. We are back home. I'm gonna show you all the stuff from Aldi first. 
Then I'll show you the stuff from Ingles. We'll start with the Aldi finds this week. They've got some pretty good ones. Jacob needs a little extra storage space in his room and I thought this would work perfect. I was actually looking at some of these on Walmart's website the other day. This one was 30, can't find my receipt. It was 30 something. I think I might've showed y'all the price in the store. <laughs> Somewhere between 30 and $40. So I got that. I also got this vacuum food sealer. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I started to get one of those that has the reusable bags that you, uh, it's got like a little circle on it and then you, it's a little handheld thing that you stick on there and it vacuums out all the air. If y'all have one of those, let me know how they are, if they work really good. But I went ahead and got this one to try. So it says you can use it with any food sealer bag. So if I run out of, you know, these, I can just order any other ones online because it says it works with any. So I'll keep y'all updated. And when I use it, we'll do it together so we can see how it works because if your Aldi has these, they're probably gonna mark them down in the next week or so. And you can get it for even cheaper if they work good. So we'll try this out in the next day or two, see how it works. And I got these to go with it. It says it's suitable for fish, meat, fruit, and much more. I also got this stretch pod and cover set. So this is a four piece set. It comes with this big one and then these three little fruit and veggie end covers. They're inside there and I got this covered fridge tray. They had two or three different kinds. I just got the kind that has the several different uh, compartments in there. I also got one more of the holiday cranberry candles. They had these marked down to two whatever. I think I showed y'all in there two something. So I got that one. It's my favorite holiday candle from Aldi. It smells so good. It smells just like the frosted cranberry from Bath and Body Works. Then we got two of these stuffed crust pepperoni pizzas, some ground beef, chicken, two pounds of sausage, and some bacon. I saw they had the thick sliced bacon this time, so I got that, and some pepperoni because they had the Mama Cozy's pizza dough back, so the kids are gonna make these for lunch today. Cece got so excited when she saw that they had the pizza dough back. Uh, I got this lobster roll dip for everybody to try, but mainly, like I said in the store, Jacob really likes lobster stuff, so I think he'll like that. Got some strawberry cream cheese and some blueberry bagels. I got this Italian meat and cheese tray for New Year's Eve, and we're gonna have fish that night, so Titus is gonna pick that stuff out if he wants to make for the fish night. Uh, we'll also have some kind of chicken or something because I don't really like fish and neither does Sissy So we'll have some other stuff too, but I got this to have throughout the night on New Year's Eve And I already have some crackers and stuff here We got some string cheese and then we have a block of mild cheddar pepper jack Colby jack and mozzarella these rice krispie treats were marked down to two dollars and something so I got those some vegetable oil Strawberry sparkling water, some cocoa rice cereal back there, pretzels, and then I got some of these Clancy's uh, ranch flavored tortilla chips, some sugar, and this. I've been seeing this for a few weeks now and never got it, but I want to give it a try. It's an ultra premium latte and frappe mix, and the brand, I guess, is Frozen Bean. It says you can enjoy it hot or cold. We're going to try one of these, and I'm actually going to make the blended one where it's going to kind of be like a, maybe like a frappe from McDonald's, you know, their caramel and all those frappes. I would have gotten caramel flavored, but they only had vanilla, hazelnut, or mocha. So I got vanilla. While the kids are making their pizzas for lunch, we're going to make one of these and see how it is because they're, it's, it comes with 10 packs, but this was like $7. That's why I haven't been getting it. <laughs> we're going to try it today and see if it's worth it. Uh, we got some baby dill pickles, some marinara sauce for the pizzas, uh, tomatoes, cantaloupe, grapes, another pineapple. That pineapple got going quick last week, y'all. I put a little bit of it on the ham on Christmas Day, and then I think Titus and Jonah ate the rest of it. So I got another pineapple, some broccoli, these raspberry oranges. I still have some regular Mandy's here, but I went ahead and got these because they look like they're gonna be really good. It just says delicious hint of berry. So we'll let y'all know how those are. We got some spinach, lettuce, carrots, strawberries, some cucumbers, and I just got one loaf of honey wheat because we still have lots of bread here. Some kiwi, these got put over there with the Ingle stuff. Two gallons of milk, some apple juice, and some of the fruit punch juice back there. And I think that's it from Aldi. And then from Ingles, I got some bananas because the bananas in Aldi were not, look, they were looking pitiful. Like nobody's bought bananas in several days from there. So I got those, got some onions because I forgot to get those at Aldi. Um, beef broth and chicken broth. Tonight for supper, we're gonna have either beef and noodles or homemade chicken noodle soup. I'm still trying to decide which one but I couldn't remember for sure how much beef broth and chicken broth I had here. So I just went ahead and got a couple of cartons. I got this pork roast because it was uh, reduced for quick sale for only $6.72. So I got that. Then I have this beef roast for the beef and noodles whenever we make that. 
some tea bags, pork chops. These are for New Year's Day. I got two packs of bone in and then one pack of boneless. The collard greens, of course, and they only had one pack of dried black eyed peas left. I guess everybody was buying those up very quickly. So I'll probably have to get some from Walmart or something because we need at least two pounds of the dry beans. And I got two bags of egg noodles. So the New Year's Eve menu is gonna be fish, probably slaw, hush puppies, all that stuff. One year, I think it was New Year's Eve that we did a copycat Long John Silver's fish like the batter and everything i'm not sure what all titus has in mind i know it's gonna be a fish night plus the chips dip finger foods and all that punch and then on new year's day pork chops collard greens black eyed peas and cornbread and probably mashed potatoes all right so i'm gonna get all this stuff put up the kids are gonna start their pizzas and we're gonna see how this frappe thing is So it says for the blended drink, pour contents of two packets to a half cup of water, milk, or coffee. We're gonna use milk, four ounces of ice. It's done. That's how it looks. It kind of looks like a frappe. Hmm. Um, it tastes like it has... Strawberry? No. <laughs> Not strawberry. It tastes like, um... Breakfast? <laughs> it tastes like it has artificial sweeteners in it. Um, looking on here to see what it says. It's not that great. I will, the texture of it is just like the frappes at McDonald's. It's just, um, maybe it's the vanilla that I'm just not loving. I don't know. Like at first it's okay. You're like, yeah, this is really good. Then it almost has a fake medicine-like taste in your mouth. I don't know. I definitely wouldn't get the vanilla bean again. We might try the mocha. Maybe the mocha's better. Y'all let us know if you've tried the mocha. <laughs> or let us know if you've tried the vanilla and liked it. Maybe it's just me with vanilla. I don't know. I, I don't really love vanilla ice lattes either. I always get caramel. <laughs> 